I said on Friday that at that juncture, I was not prepared to move because optics aside, I did not think that anything that Minister Saldiva did amounted to criminality or corruption. He was perhaps conned into this acquaintanceship slash friendship with this individual in the same way that many others, including some additional ministers, were. Nothing since Friday has occurred to make me depart from that point of view. But as was made clear in the question and answer session that we had on Friday, the optics also include the fact that while I've not run a poll, and while I don't have any scientific evidence for saying this, the optics make clear that the public perception is that it is untenable for Minister Saldiva to continue to head the police ministry in the current circumstances where, although Mr. Mason or whatever name he currently goes by, has already been arraigned, charged for murder and for kidnapping. His wife is still at large. So there is clearly an ongoing investigation. And the relationship between Minister Saldiva and Mr. Mason up until the point it was terminated, whenever that point was, that relationship was such as to make the public, and indeed myself and other members of cabinet, uncomfortable with a situation where <sighs> seeds of mistrust might not only be sown, in fact, they have already been planted, but where the appearances are such as to oblige almost the public to at the very least question strongly that particular configuration where Minister John Saldiva and what is seen or what was seen up until today as his police department are in fact advancing the investigation 